uh, from what we've seen from this fight, now so Gan losing. If you look at the top ten of the UFC heavyweights, Francis Ngannou has beaten most of them, right? Um, let's say now Ngannou actually leaves. The UFC are sort of in like this predicament. Let's say Ngannou leaves, right? Uh, who is going to fight for the title without John Jones being there? Because John Jones now fighting the UFC, it's all the same thing. We guys keep forgetting that there's also a there's also a contract agreement disagreement there as well. So that means that the UFC will bend to John Jones at this mm. point. But now, jo- uh, who's left in there? Serogan now. Serogan now. Let's say Serogan fights TP for the vacant title if there's a title. That means that those are Ngannou's leftovers. The the UFC heavyweight title will look bad because everybody knows that. Mm. Those guys are all just champions because Ngannou is in there. Let's say Curtis Blades comes up. Let's say Derek Lewis, Lewis comes up. Let's say the only person that is out of this picture, that is out of this whole circle is Tom Aspinall uh, of the UK, who hasn't really been tested by these guys. So I feel the U- the UFC are in sort of like a spot where they actually do need to get this contract done with Ngannou because it will make their heavyweight division look very soft. Because last, last, if they don't have this contract with Ngannou, they will go and face John Jones, who is also a dick about his contract as well, right? Because he's the only person that can be a champion <laughs> that people yeah. will be like, ah, he's a legitimate champion, he's a Hall of Famer, you get me? So, um, with that being said, I just want you guys to... Can I jump in with that? Yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 yeah, yeah, I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask you, I just want you to match make for me the scenario where Ngannou leaves, what would UFC do? Yeah, yes, yes, Yagi. Okay, so I think there's a guy that people are forgetting, and they just give the guy a very, very big fight. And this guy can be a superstar. To Ivasa? Hi, to Ivasa. <laughs> a lot of people are forgetting. If Ivasa is fighting Derek Lewis, yeah. if he beats Derek Lewis, he's fighting for the belt next, regardless of who he's fighting against. Mm. Now, Stipe has been out for a while. I think Stipe is probably going to fight um, Curtis Blades. Mm-hmm. If Stipe beat Curtis Blade, well, you can say Stipe and Ngano are 1-1. Mm-hmm. If Taito Ivasa beats Derek Lewis, remember Derek Lewis already beat Ngano before. You can say, well, he beat the guy that beat Ngano. It becomes tricky if Derek Lewis beats Taito Ivasa, which I don't see. I think Taito Ivasa beats Derek Lewis. Then I think for the vacant belt, you can say, oh, Stipe is the greatest heavyweight of all time. Stipe versus Taito Ivasa. Fans love Stipe. Mm. Fans love Taito Ivasa. So if, if Ngannou leaves, both of those boys can fight for the belt. And if Taito Ivasa somehow wins the belt, that's somebody who Ngannou hasn't fought. That's and there's, someone who there's has Aspino, a huge There's Aspinall as well. Well, Aspinall is fighting vocal. Mm. So if he beats Volkov, then he's up in there as well. Because after Tuivasa, Aspinal is another one of the guys that this guy hasn't fought. So mm. I think they are pushing Tuivasa now. If, mm. And Tuivasa is young. He's like 27, 28. So, sort of, he's sort of a fan favorite right now because guys, of the shoeies. Yeah. <laughs> fan favorite, shoey, young guy, fresh guy. Guy we don't send anybody. Kind of yeah. He just wants to I do think that that's, that's the game plan, right? Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I would like to ask Demola, but Demola is just doing hide and seek with us. Uh, <laughs> Demola, mm. how would you do the matchmaking, please, of uh, of the UFC heavyweight division? Let's yes, assume. Yeah. Let's assume. Let's assume Francis Ngannou is not there. Do you agree with Yagi? Yes. Okay. <laughs> if Francis Ngannou is not in the UFC heavyweight picture. Um, I would actually love um John Jones to be in that picture. I love John Jones to be in that picture in the absence of um Francis and Daniel. So it means we'll be looking in the direction of um John Jones versus um, versus um Cyril Gan. Yeah, John Jones Cyril Gan is going to be a fight that will have a lot of fireworks. Trust me, trust me. Um, you know, it's a two credentialed strikers and then mind you um john jones is also you know credentialed um a wrestler as well and he he has a really tough chin and he you know everybody saying he has not been tested at heavyweights okay he okay not been tested at okay i have a question for you you what if sirogan beats john jones sirogan would be 
a champion that he's only a champion because Nganu is not there. So he would, it would, it would be weak for the UFC. Do you understand what I mean? So, so I'll put this to you that you actually need some MMA math here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so the truth is, you know, if um, Francis Nganu actually stays in the UFC, there's always the possibility of having a rematch mm-hmm. between Francis Ngannou and Cyril Gann. And mm-hmm. it is not a given that, you know, Francis Ngannou will actually beat, you know, Cyril Gann in a rematch. You get it. So, um, a lot of times... Mm-hmm. Yagi is raising his hand. Uh, after you are done, Yagi will take... Uh, yeah. <laughs> will respond. Okay. <laughs> Yagi, Yagi, what, what, what were you going to say? Yeah. Nah, because I just heard what Demola said, but if you look at the UFC history itself, they don't like to have a guy who the champ beats five of the belts because it still puts that division under the cloud of the champ. Look at 155, for example. When Oliveira Ka- never when, fought Khabib. When Khabib left, yeah? Yes. Oliveira never fought Khabib. Justin wanted that title for the set for where Chandler never fought Khabib. They gave it to Chandler instead of Dustin, Justin, but they made Oliveira versus Chandler to fight for the vacant belt, so that it won't be that, oh, Khabib has retired, but this is still Khabib's division. You Mind you, you, sorry to come in here. Mind you, that mm-hmm. Dustin did not want the title shot. That was why the title shot was, you know, skipped to somebody okay. else. Okay. Explain he wanted, Justin, bro. He wanted the red pants tonight. With Explain red. Justin. Justin, of course. Justin okay. Gaethje. Justin he, he had just lost, you know, he, he was coming off a loss. And that's what I'm saying. Gain is coming off a lot loss. He okay. will fight your so, oh, okay. Gain coming mm-hmm. up. So for me, my assumption is, you know, in, in, in uh, a scenario in which you know Gan actually you know has another fight and then fights his way back up to the title uh, contention picture. So um, basically, you know, John Jones might not be ready till maybe towards the end of the year, right? Then you know. Uh, but, but then, if you're looking at the current um, uh, events of things, I think um, John Jones versus uh, Stipe Miocic will be more like it. You know, a former champion versus you know an ex-champion. You know, it, it's a bit of ex-champion. You know, you can actually match up that John Jones versus um, Stipe Miocic. That that would be um, uh, yeah, that would be a good one, basically, in the absence of um, Francis Ngannou. Okay. Thank you for supporting the African Fighters. Please click on the subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you'll be informed whenever I post a new video. Come on, Africans! Ah,